Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sky High Saturday. Today I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew before becoming a fursuit maker. Before we get started, I've just released this suit with this tail. So I've decided when I reach 100 Patreons, I will make a video tutorial on how I did this tail. We are less than 10 away, so please consider pledging if you want to see that. I get a lot of comments saying, oh, I want to be a fursuit maker, Sky, teach me how. Well, today I'm going to dish up a steaming pile of hot truth for all of those who want to be fursuit makers out there. So let's get started, shall we? Number one, taxes are confusing and you must pay them. <laughs> if you run a business, you must pay taxes. There are no two ways about it because if you don't, you're going to end up in jail. It's just the way of the capitalist society we live in. Taxes can be really confusing and if you can't afford an accountant, you have to do it yourself. Do some research into the tax brackets for your country. In Australia, it's something like 21 cents every dollar you make over $18,000 as a base bracket and it goes up as you earn more. So keep track of your earnings to make sure you set aside what you need for the end of the financial year. Once again, this is compulsory. You will go to jail if you fail to pay your tax or avoid it outright. That means around 30% of what you earn needs to be put away immediately for the tax man. Certainly a downside, but unfortunately a necessary one. Number two, you work long hours. My daily work hours can vary between five to 15 hours every day. Because you are your own boss, you control your own income. Need to pay that car registration? You bet you're gonna stay up till 2 a.m. making the pre-made so you can get the $700 e-dues you need. Have a con coming up? Everyone wants their suit for it. No sleep for you, 18 to 20 hour workdays and now you're normal. Congratulations, sit in exhaustion and ponder your life choices. On the bright side, you don't have to apply for time off, but whenever you take even a second off, the self-employed guilt kicks in, cause if you're not doing the essentials like eating, drinking, showering or pooping, you could be working. And every second not spent working is obviously a second wasted, so you must get back to work. Coffee is your best friend, and quick snacks like nuts are also your best friend. Though seriously, uh, take your time off and take care of your mind, body, and soul. I might not do it as often as I should, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Number three, shipping. Shipping is, well, complicated, expensive, and frustrating. Nothing beats finishing up a suit and rocking up to your post office only to be hit with the price tag to the tune of a hundred and something dollar dues to slap your commissioner in the face with after they've paid the price to get the suit in the first place. If you're shipping internationally, you will need to complete long-winded customs forms, outlining the price, weight, and contents of your box in detail. Then there's ensuring your package and getting tracking and signature on delivery. The whole works. Sometimes if your suits cost more than a certain amount, you need an exporter's license to send them to. Sending to places in Europe especially can get very complicated as sometimes you need to attach invoices to boxes, write things in French on the sides, and jump through a lot of hoops to get it into the country. So research before sending something to a new country is essential. Warning your commissions about customs fees is also a good thing to do, Australia and Europe especially for this, as you have to pay a certain percentage of your suit in fees to the government to allow it into the country. Complicated, long-winded, and exhausting. Number four, fur on everything you love and cherish. I hope you already have a cat or a high shedding dog because maybe you won't notice this as much but anyone who does have a shedding pet can tell you fur gets everywhere and fox fur is no different. When you do a shave day or a day of cutting fur you come out resembling the cookie monster and no matter what you do or how well you clean yourself it will still find its way into your food, into your PC, into your lungs, fridge, car, washing machine Anywhere it shouldn't be, it will be. I swear every fur room needs an airlock or you're blasted with cyclonic winds to remove all of the fur before you go into the rest of the house. Number five, inconsistency of income. As with any artistic career, income is very inconsistent. If you, don't, if you go into it expecting a nice paycheck every month, you're dreaming, my friend. Here's an example. In the month of August, I earned a very nice $10,000. The month of September, $900. 
every month people are paying you different amounts. You're working more or working less, maybe you're sick and can't work, maybe something breaks and you can't work, or maybe it's just bad luck. But you have to be prepared for months where you might not earn much at all, and you can't keep taking commissions to fill that void either. That's when you end up with a situation where you have way too many people in your queue and it's all just a huge mess. And that's about it. Hopefully this video gave you some realistic insight on what it's like to be a fursuit maker and let you know more kind of bad things to expect. Of course, there's all these wonderful things as well, but these are some of the things that I found that I wish I knew before I joined the career. Did you guys know these things on this list? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Blev Army today and I will see you all this time next week. Bye-bye now. All right. Yeah.